Howdy doody, everybody. Well, howdy doody. Who says that anymore? <laughs> Welcome to the Hike in My Feelings virtual campfire. My name is Sydney Williams, and tonight I'm going to be sharing um, a little bit about uh, this book, this campfire. I'm going to be spending some time with some great guests that we have tonight. So on deck tonight, we have Anastasia Allison. She is the founder of Kula Cloth, which is one of the things that's included in our VIP kit here. So she's going to tell us all about it. I heard a rumor she's going to show us the first one she ever tried to make, so that's going to be awesome. Um, she's also a violinist for a group called the Musical Mountaineers, so we're lucky enough to have her sharing two songs with us tonight, and the first one's going to be coming up here in a few minutes, so don't go anywhere. We also have Jenna Selmer here. She is uh, she used to do some pretty dope stuff, like literal anti-doping, um, with the U.S. Olympic Committee and some other major league organizations. And now she is just crushing it at Gear Monk. So we're going to be talking about what it's like to blaze your own trail in the outdoor industry. Anastasia as a product inventor, myself as a nonprofit founder, and um, Jenna as somebody who's just absolutely crushing it and helping people find jobs in the outdoor industry. We also have Gabaccia here tonight. She is a... Um, wonderful human that I met in Montana last year and then had the pleasure of hiking with when we were in New Mexico um, towards the end of the tour and she is all about exploring responsibly so we're going to be talking about what that looks like as well. I'm hiking my Welcome to Hiking My Feelings TV. Um, if there's nobody else that has anything else to share, then we're going to bounce on the YouTube and we'll stick around here for the uh, post-show Zoom chat. So a little housekeeping stuff. Um, tomorrow we have Aaron Strout, who is one of my mentors. He's been my mentor for forever. Um, he's also the third board member of the Hiking My Feelings Board of Directors. And he's the chief marketing officer at W2O Group, which is the agency that I used to work with. We also have Carlos Verus, who is the leader and founder of Everyone's Hike. Um, so he has, and also the Dodger Blue um, hiking group. He leads hikes, or he, when he was still in Southern California, he's up in NorCal now. But when he was still in Southern California, he would take out like hundreds of people for hikes at a time. And like they'd get like, they'd go do the brand motorway where it's a big fire access road. And it's just like, it's like two lanes wide. It might as well be a freeway on a mountain. This light looks so dope right now, by the way. Um, so Carlos will be here tomorrow to talk about his big group hikes. Um, and we also have MJ from Walk Shop, who we met Mark, her um, business partner on episode one, the first campfire. And MJ is the CEO of Walk Shop and they take out different executives from different industries out on backpacking trips to disconnect from the Wi-Fi, reconnect with themselves. Um, and just really hone in, tune in, and start thinking in more innovative ways as they exhaust their bodies and like clear their heads. So really excited to have MJ here tomorrow. They're one of our sponsors. Um, they got on early and we love them and we're so grateful for their support. So um, that's what we got going on tomorrow. If you haven't yet donated and you'd like to, if you're watching on YouTube and you're like, wow, this looks like so much fun. I've been watching this for 10 days. Maybe I should get in on this for realsies and get in the Zoom chat. So I can feel these vibes. Um, you can get tickets to join the Zoom chats at hikingmyfeelings.org slash campfire. We offer day passes, all access pass, and VIP all access pass, which we have five of the virtual campfire kits left. So if you're interested in getting the treasure chest of all the great things from our partners and sponsors, definitely sign up for that. If you're watching and you're like, wow, I learned so much tonight. I can't come ever again, but I definitely want to throw these people a few dollars. Then you can do that at hikingmyfeelings.org slash give. And as a reminder, this, organi uh, this whole fundraiser for the Hiking My Feelings Wilderness Wellness Center, 80% of the proceeds go to us, and then we've reserved 10% of the proceeds to go to the American Diabetes Association, and 10% to go to RAIN, which is the nation's largest anti-sexual violence organization. Um, so both of those organizations are causes that are near and dear to my heart. The ADA is on a mission to improve the lives of people living with diabetes, type 1, type 2, and pre-diabetes, and to find a cure. 
and rain obviously has tremendous resources for survivors of sexual assault so if you're watching if you've been reading the book and you're feeling feelings about that thing that happened that one time and you're not sure if it was assault or not chances are it probably was because you're thinking about it um when you're ready to talk about it and have a conversation and get support rain is a great first step um, they have tons of resources. They operate a hotline where you can call and get support. They also have an online chat if talking to a human is not your jam right now. That's totally fine. Um, their chat is great. And they also have a survivor like chat room. So while you're waiting to talk to a representative from Rain, you can also be in the chat with other survivors that are, you know, working through things as well. So thank you so much for all of your support. Thank you for being here tonight. Thank you to our guests, Anastasia, Jenna. Gabacha, love you so much. Thank you for bringing your energy and your knowledge and all of your wonderful power to this chat. Uh, the vibes have been good tonight. So on YouTube, we're going to peace out. Everybody wave bye. And for the people in the Zoom chat, we're going to say uh, hey -o, and we'll hang out for a little bit. Peace out. We did it. It's over. <laughs> How'd it go, Cap? So good. That was a good one, huh? Mm -hmm crushing it yeah yeah that was uh I'm really good at picking guests <sighs> um not picking i'm really good at uh was it not we cultivating some, we have some great people in our lives and i'm really good at curating curating that's the word uh the flow of the content i'd like to share yes <laughs> and it's uh all fantastic because every single guest that you have has got a story to tell mm -hmm. and that's what sitting around a campfire is all about yeah telling stories and that's exactly what's happening yeah and it's amazing yeah that was a good one you liked it yeah i mean i like i you know every every once in a while i get a little kind of like you know a little dust in my eyes <laughs> you know a little dirt <laughs> Why did you get suggested for this one? Uh, no, it was just nice, man. Yeah. It was just people like telling legitimate like stories and like overcoming stuff and like just connecting as a human being. Yeah. You know, and uh, I thought it was real nice. I did too. Yeah. I'm a big fan. Mm. Mm. I love you. Love you. I love this. Yeah. This is so fun. we're halfway done. We're halfway done. That ten, was number ten. Ten, ten, ten nights down, done. Ten to go. You think you're going to make it? I think so. It feels like we've been doing this for a month, though. <laughs> I know. Like, how long ago was Nicholas Dell? That was a week ago, and it feels like a year. Like, that was last weekend. Yeah. Holy crap. <laughs> Right? Like, yeah, we'll and, and K-Bong was like the third one. And I'm like, that was 10 years ago. Like, I know. It's I don't even know the guy anymore. I know. Who are you? <laughs> like, I feel like I was looking at it. I was like, am I texting him like all the time? Because like, all like in this world, time is just, you know, like the time that exists on our campfire versus the time that is like linear time that humans understand. Like I, I'm. I was just like, I don't know how long it's been since I, like, I don't know how long it's been since I've sent emails. Should I be following up with people? Like, I have no concept of time when we're in this space. Well, I feel like, uh, it's almost like you're a kid at camp. Yeah. Where it's like condensed fun. Uh-huh. You know, and it's just <laughs> like, you're like, uh, it's just, you're enjoying it and it just goes by so fast, but it's like, you kind of think to yourself, when is this going to be over? Because right. like, you're just, you're in it. Yeah. And it's just a really bizarre experience. Yeah, it's fun. You know, they were like being on a really long hike or something, you know, like when, you know, it's just, it's... Like when you get to the halfway point, you're like, oh my God, we still have halfway. Like we have to do all of that still to get back to our return right. spot. Like when we got to Lake Solitude and Tetons, and we're like, that was awesome. And also we have to get back now. Like, yeah. it's pretty crazy. Yeah. But um, I think one of the, I, I'm really glad Anastasia was on. She's like, she's so woo. And I love, she's so intentional with her language. Like... Everything that she said tonight, I was like, I'm going to sit here in this chair and just, like, imagine that all of these people are around an actual campfire. Because I've been so excited about seeing people's faces on the screen that I haven't had time to actually visualize this energy in a physical space. Like, what we're creating up there and having these kinds of conversations around an actual campfire in the place that we built because we did this. Like. Right. That is going to be so awesome. Yeah, that was some really good conversations it's tonight. So good. I love it. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks for being part of it. What a great day. Started out with a news interview and then capping it off with this. That Not too stuff. shabby. Yeah.
Yeah. Do more of that. Yeah, well, well, we can do more of it tomorrow. Okay. The next day. Okay. The next day. Okay. The next day. And the one after that? And then one after that. Okay, cool. Yeah, all right. That and then good. we'll keep going until we run out of days, I guess. Yeah. Let's do it until we can't do it no more. <laughs> all right. All right. Are we done here? I think so. I think so. Yeah. All right, bye. All right. <laughs> 9-11? 9 11. Oh, 9-11. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're doing it. Over I'm around. wearing a hat. Yeah. It was like 80 million degrees the other day, and here I am, dressed like it's winter with a blankie. Because it's 58? <laughs> yeah. Huh? Good thing we're going to have that fire going for you. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked about it. All right. It's going to be a good one. Yeah, it's going to be. Well, they're all good. Yeah, I mean, but you know. It'd be nice to talk to Aaron, huh? Yeah. All right. Pretty stoked about it. Well, have a good show. Okay. Tonight, we're going to be reading from chapter 10. This is one of my favorites. It's called You Don't Need the Money. Um, so if you weren't here yesterday, we left off with um, me trying to fill the first big order that we got for the startup that I worked at after I left agency life. So I had just realized that I was really kind of tired of killing myself for beauty products because that's why I was so stressed out and getting sick. Um, and we just discovered that the palette wasn't going to be picked up until Monday. So if you're following along at home, we're on page 127, and this is chapter 10, you don't need the money. Um, tomorrow, I like this is one of the episodes I've been looking forward to since the beginning of time on this. Um, so tomorrow we have Dr. Tama Bryan Davis, and she is a licensed psychologist. She's an ordained minister and a sacred artist. So I... Guys, if you don't already follow her on Instagram, she's Dr. Tama, um, T H E M A. It looks like Thema, but it's pronounced Tama, like Tama Lion. Um, and she's also on Twitter. This woman posts just nuggets of gold, especially um, in these times that we find ourselves in. And I am just so thrilled to have her here tomorrow. Um, we also have the Hiking My Feelings Family first episode. Um, which is Becca, who is the first person to use the hashtag after I started like claiming hiking my feelings. Because when I wrote that blog post and like had this realization that I was hiking my feelings instead of eating and drinking my feelings, the first thing I did, marketing instincts, was like, has anybody used this hashtag? Is the Instagram handle available? Can I buy a URL? And all of those were available. Nobody had ever said hiking my feelings before I said hiking my feelings, which blew my mind. And I felt like I was kind of alone on an island. And then like five or six days later, this wonderful woman, Becca, who I've been connected with digitally since like 2008, posted that she was hiking her feelings. And I was like, because I checked the hashtag thing again, and I was like, oh, it's somebody other than me. And there's this woman with her dogs and they live in Reno. Holy crap, what is happening? So it's like the hiking my feelings first episode. So we're doing... Um, it's Becca, she was the first one to use the hashtag. Pete Olson, who was the first, he, he was, bleh. I was on, that was the first podcast I was on, was him and Travis's podcast. Um, and he was the first person to ask about the process for Hiking My Feelings. So we were hiking and he was like, so Sydney, like, what's the Hiking My Feelings process? And I was like, oh, baby, it's just like so organic. There's no real process. Like, it's just something I do. And like, uh, I'm just like figuring out my feelings. And he was like, um, I'm going to respectfully call like you clearly went through some stuff on that trail. I need you to figure out what the process is and tell the world. And I was like, oh, okay. So I did. And here we are. Um, we also have Ash who was the first person to ask a question at my first talk on my REI speaking tour. And she like, she just stood up and she was like, Hey, so like, what's you talk about all your friends leaving a legacy. What's your legacy? And I was like, I'm not ready to answer that question. I thought you were going to ask me about part of my story. I just talked about myself for an hour. I don't know what my legacy is. So she was also the first person to join one of our group hikes as well. So you met Ash on the first episode. She was supposed to be hiking the PCT right now, but COVID ruined those plans for her. So I'm really excited to have Ash back. And also Miss Laura was the first person to buy the book. Um, I was in Asheville, North Carolina. I put it up as a pre-sale on October 30th was like the day that I was launching it. And I didn't know if I'd have a good enough internet connection to like make the website part live the next day when it was supposed to go. So it was right after my Asheville talk. I was at the REI store. I was like sitting at this little desk and I was just like, boop, 
okay, it's available. And then I woke up and like, or actually it was like right before I went to bed because I was up late because I was so excited because it was a great talk and that's how it happens. Um, and like right before I went to bed, it said Squarespace order received. And I was like, is this what I think it is? Cause like, we're not selling a lot on the website. Is it a book? Did somebody buy the book? And I was like, <gasps> somebody bought the book. And I was like, Laura Bakeman, I don't know who you are, but you're in Colorado and I love you. And then I was like, oh my God, I do know who you are. We met on tour. Holy <laughs> Like it was just like the coolest thing ever. <clears throat> so I'm really excited to have everybody here tomorrow. And it's just going to be like one big cuddle puddle of hiking my feelings awesomeness with all the family members. And, um, yeah, so that's, that's the plan, Stan. Um, update on Blaze Your Own Trail to Self Love. We've got 10 people signed up. Guys, like, I literally thought it would be, like, four. So we've got 10, and I'm pretty stoked about it. Um, and for anybody that's watching that might be interested in joining us, um, last night we had everybody kind of go around that is signed up and talk about it. So check out the episode from Campfire number 10. It's at, like, the one hour and 28 minute mark or something is where we start talking about it. Um, and for anybody that is impacted financially right now, whether that's COVID or you're just in a hard time period, if you go to the website and you read it and you're like, oh my God, I want to be a part of this, but I just can't swing it financially. We are offering scholarship spots and we are open to doing bartering and trading because I am a firm believer that everybody should have access to this as much as possible. So as we apply for more grants and as we get more financial support to where we can subsidize those costs, we will. Um, but for our first run of this program, we have five scholarship spots available, and we're also willing to work with you if you have skills that you'd like to bring to the organization um, in exchange for doing the course. So adios. Adios, amigos. See ya. How'd you do, Cap? So good. How'd you do? Oh, good. That was fun. Yeah. <sighs> I'm really glad that the uh, with the sky falling that it didn't take the satellite internet with us. Yeah, I know. Was I was good. thinking about that like as I was like, watching the clouds drop, I was like, uh, we better be ready to tether here shortly. Yeah, no, we're good. But, I didn't have any bloop bloops on that one. That was a pretty solid, solid connection because at least the last, like on basically everyone I've done, at least once a guest would be like, it would do the thing where it like it, it go wah, uh, uh, yeah. uh, 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 and then speed up everything and then get yeah caught. i heard it on on your end yeah yeah i didn't hear any on my end so that was that was helpful and pleasant for well, it's me. easy when you're talking yeah but uh, yeah it was fine yeah nothing unusual yeah it was fine but i'm glad we didn't lose internet all together oh yeah no me too <laughs> but that was good yeah i'm into it good job yeah swift recovery on the not having mj and not knowing if Carlos was going to make it. I didn't, I, when they start reading, when I start reading, I don't see who's in the waiting room. So yeah, um, I'm glad he was able to get on there and figure it out. So yeah, that was cool though. 700 people. Could you imagine? No, I don't no, want to. No, that sounds awful. No. But like also cool. Cause he's introducing so many people right. to it. And oh, yeah. I love that he's getting pictures of people. Like I did a hike with you and now I'm at Zion. Like that's so awesome. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. All right. I got to pee. All right, dude. Yeah. Coming up next time on Hiking My Feelings TV. What is going on here? Uh, full weather setup for the Hiking My Feelings virtual campfire. Yeah, we have inclement weather today. Huh? Inclement weather. We are going live from inside a cloud. Yeah, it was supposed to be sunny and everything was fine this afternoon, but uh, yeah, we're in a cloud. We are in it. It, it, it. It's hard to tell if it's raining or if it's just moisture from being in a cloud. Yeah. Sometimes it's rain, sometimes it's just like cloud wet. So you literally have your head in the clouds. Literally. Excellent. Yeah. Well, fingers crossed that the internet, the satellite. Keeps going. Keeps working. Yeah, I think it will. I hope so. Yeah. yeah. Planning for the best. Yes. Thumbs up. All right. <laughs>